Hello everybody, Argon here with a tutorial on how to make an RPG-like cooldown uh, system. Um, I will start right off. Um, you right click in your hierarchy, go to UI and create a canvas. As you can see the canvas is quite big. It's because it's on screen space overlay. And we're going to change that to screen space camera. As you can see it will ask us for a camera and we drag a camera in there and will fit the screen. Next thing we're going to do is that we want our uh, canvas to scale with our resolution. So we're going to say that it needs to scale with screen size and we're going to use a reference resolution of 9020 by 1080. And we want it to scale with the width. Now we will add our action bar. We're going to do that by right clicking on canvas, go to UI, create a panel. We want our uh, panel to have its pivot uh, set to the bottom of our screen and uh, also uh, the pivot and the position so we go there by clicking on the panel click on the uh, this button here and we go holding alt and shift and click this you can see the pivot uh, and position is now here and now if we would change this and make this lower it would actually scale down i'm going to make in sake of this tutorial i'm going to say this is 120 pixels high and the width will be about uh, 1020. And the next thing is what we want to do is that we will want to fit our buttons in here. And we're going to do that by adding a grid layout. You go, uh, you just fill in grid and it says grid layout group. And we're going to size this up. And um, it will now actually uh, make a grid of any component that is inside this panel. So I will add our first. Um, button here which will be put all the way in the left top corner with the size of 100 by 100 and because we got our height on 120 it means we have uh, 10 pixels on the top and bottom and to make this nice fitting it we also say that it has 10 and 10 on the left and right which will result in that we can have 10 uh, abilities on uh, or action bar if we want to um, also we want our, um, our action bar to only have one row so we're going to put this on fixed row count and put it on one so that when we reach the end of the of the grid it will not put it below it but just the right of it that's actually it for the for this panel next is that we're going to create the background for our um, skill and I got something downloaded from huge, uh, sorry, uh, Google, and that's this one. I'm gonna drag this here, but as you can see, we require a sprite, and it does not accept this. That's because this is seen as a texture. To change this, we go click on the texture, and the texture type will change to sprite, which is for the 2D and UI. And then we click apply. Go back to our image, and now as you can see, we can drag our skill here and it will accept it and it will show here now because we used the scaler it will actually always fill the same amount of the screen at least in the width so this will be our background of the of our skill um, but for that we're gonna uh, make this a little bit more gray because this will be shown when the uh, skill is on cooldown now we're going to add the, uh, the active color on it by right clicking on the image UI and create another image on it. As you can see this overrides the one on the back and we're going to give this one the same sprite. For this one it's actually going to um, rotate um, to show the cooldown on it and to do that we're going to image type and we click on filled. By default it's on radial which we will use but we want it to start filling from the top. Now if I slide the fill amount you can see that it is actually showing what we want it to be. That this is also shown in uh, RPGs. So when we are gonna use this cooldown it should set this to zero and then just fill this up depending on the cooldown. So we're gonna make uh, a few more um, images just for the sake of this tutorial so I'm gonna create three if you want a little bit more space 
um, between the buttons you go to your panel and you can say that the spacing needs to be a little bit higher as you can see it creates some space in between everything now we're going to create a script that will manage the cooldowns and we're going to add it to our panel which is our action bar to this we create a script C sharp script and we're going to call it skill cooldown we open this up in mono develop Okay, the first thing is what we're going to do is we're going to create a list. Make a public list. Make sure you do not use the eye list. And this is going to be filled with images. Uh, sorry, with skills. Skill. Sorry. Hold on. I'm going to call it skills. Now, Unity does not know the class list. Uh, by default, so to solve this, we go and right click on list, resolve, and use system.generic. And now skill does not exist, that's because we're gonna create it. To do this, we're gonna say system.serializable. This will allow us to create a class that we can use everywhere. We're gonna say public class, it's gonna call it skill. And now we can actually use this, because now it knows the class skill. So our skill class um, will contain everything we need to know about the skill. It got a public float cooldown, which will be the cooldown for the skill. It will have an image, which we will call skill icon. And it will have a pub, oh, and it will have a public float and that is will be the current cooldown uh, this one we actually do not want to see in the list because if we go back to unity now we drag this on a panel oh. that's right image is not found because again same with list does not uh, it is not uh, used by default, we use it by resolve and use the unity engine to try. If we go back to unity now, fix this and it will give us this list. So in this case we've got three items, we click in three and press enter, as you can see it will show this. Well, the cooldown is important because that's just something we can give and this one is also important because it is uh, the image that we will assign to it. This one however is not really important to fill in so we can actually hide it, but it still needs to be public because we want this uh, script to be able to access it. To do, to do that, we're gonna set this hide in inspector. And now, if we go back to Unity, wait, you see that that part is not shown anymore. Okay. So now we're gonna do some hard coding here, which is uh, not very nice, uh, but since we are only using three at the moment, uh, three skills, uh, I think we can just do it on this way. If you're going to use more skills or something, you will have to um, make this a little bit more dynamic. But we're going to use the public void fixed update. Actually, public part you can just leave out. So I'm going to say if input dot get get key down and it needs to be key code dot alpha one oh, alpha one which will be the uh, one on our keyboards and uh, our list uh, this should uh, access the first element in this list but a list is zero base so actually the first element will be indexed zero so we're going to check first if we can use the cooldown. That would be done by skills 0, because this will be the first element. Dot current cooldown 
is bigger or equal to skills zero dot cooldown. So this means that if this is true, means that our um, current cooldown is equal to the cooldown and means that we are allowed to use the skill again. But then say skills zero dot current cooldown is zero. And the here is also the part that you would um, do anything you want uh, whenever this skill is activated. This will just make sure that the cooldown is being reset and it will start counting down again. So here would be do something. Now we can actually copy paste this part. But since we are probably only going to allow to one button to be pressed at the same time, we're going to say else if. And of course this should be alpha 2 and alpha 3. And our skills should be the next element, which will be 1. And this one will be 2. And now we actually need something that will um, keep updating the current cooldown of our skill. I'm going to do that in the update. So we're going to use a for each loop here. So we say for each, for each skill S in skills, what we're going to do is we're going to check if the S, which is the skill that we are currently in, current cooldown, is lower than the cooldown of this skill. I'm going to say that the skill dot current cooldown will be increased by time dot delta time. So now it will keep track of our cooldown. Now we need to actually update the image, which will be as dot skill icon. But filled amount, which were, which is the slider, equals, and here we will use um, a ratio for it. So we're gonna say s dot current cooldown divided by s dot cooldown. So this will give us uh, a number between zero and one, the, and that's actually what fill amount is doing. And we save this, and go back to Unity. See, we've got no errors. Um, now we're gonna actually change those to uh, some other icons, and I've got two others here. Again, we need to select those, and we're going to Sprite, and we apply this. So this is our skill one. This needs to be skill two. So if I say this one, and then I'm gonna put this one here, change that, and we've got those two, and that's gonna be skill three. Only thing that we now uh, still have to do is fill this in. So our first uh, icon will be this one. Second one will be this one. And third one will be this one. To keep your uh, hierarchy nice, you should uh, name this to something like uh, skill one background. I call the others uh, something like um, skill to background and so on and then you should name this to uh, skill one something like that so your uh, higher so you actually are able to find stuff back in your hierarchy so now we've got those all assigned and as you can see it's also shows this so then it's immediately um, clear that this one is going to be changed so our cooldown is on the first one I would say three seconds for five and let's just put this one on seven oh. five and seven if we go to play now 
You can see that they start immediately uh, loading because by default cooldown is this one. So you can actually set that somewhere that it should not um, do that. But when I press now, I press 1, this one is going to be activated and start refilling. Same goes for the, the 2 and the 3 and the 1. There we go. If I press the 1 multiple times right now, it does not do anything till um, it's actually completely filled. And that's actually it for this tutorial. Please put in the comments what you think. Um, if you like this, please a thumbs up would really help me out. Um, if you have ideas for more tutorials, please put it in the comments. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. And uh, see you next time. Goodbye.